Hey, welcome back to another video. Uh, first of all, I want to thank you all, all my subscribers, all my followers for watching my videos. It really helps my channel grow and uh, because of this I can keep creating these uh, nice projects for you guys. So I really appreciate it. Also my last video, uh, these Christmas ornaments, it did pretty well. I got a lot of nice comments, many people watched it. I got a lot of thumbs up, so uh, it's really appreciated. Uh, I want to stay in the Christmas spirits for this video. I found a new design, it's this one. I think it's really nice, uh, a train with uh, some coaches, very colorful, uh, Santa Claus inside. So if you want to know how I went from this design to this one, watch till the end because I will show you again all the steps needed to get to this end result. Starting with the light burn, then the cutting, gluing, uh, painting, gluing, and finally to this one. Uh, I put it on this stick, but these are individual uh, yeah, parts, you can just place them however you want. So if you like it, let me know, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel and let's start with the first step, the design in light burn. I couldn't fit all the parts at once on one sheet. Um, this bed is 400 by 400 millimeters and it didn't fit. So I've uh, separated the parts, I will first cut all these parts uh, on the first sheet and then the second sheet I will cut these parts. Uh, I have set the speed for the engraving, this, uh, the black uh, lines, to 2000 millimeters a minute at 30%. So they will be cut a little bit deeper, but not uh, completely through. And the rest, the red uh, lines, I will cut uh, through. And it will be 700 millimeters at 85%. One pass. Uh, this one will take about 13 minutes. Let me move this one aside and then put this one on. And this one will take about four minutes. So let's say it's a little over uh, 17 minutes in total. Uh, it's a longer B1, it's a 40 watt laser, so it can cut uh, pretty fast. Um, I will cut everything out. Once everything is uh, cut, I will remove all the parts and then we can uh, start with the painting. parts are cut. Uh, there are many small parts. Uh, let me take the camera off the tripod so you can see it a little bit better. As you can see many small parts they all need to be painted also on this sheet. Uh, it's pretty colorful as you can see. I will select all these colors. Um, I will use acrylic paint again so I will select the colors. Once I've done so I will start the painting and once the painting is ready uh, we can glue everything together to get to this uh, nice end result. So I've already selected uh, the colors I want to use, uh, try to match up with the original. Um, some will be a little bit different but uh, I think it will be okay. So next up I will uh, put the camera over here using this tripod so you can have a look with me. And I will start painting all the parts. Some parts I will take out probably, some parts I will leave in. Depending on how uh, small the part is or maybe uh, like the face it needs to be a different color than the beard. So uh, that's up next.
all the parts are painted. Uh, let me show you. There are many bits and pieces as you can see. I've aligned everything so this is one set, one set, one set and one set. So next up I will glue everything together and then we can connect them. And we have I think a very nice uh, Christmas uh, uh, project finished. Uh, these are the leftovers and all the paints I've used. So next up uh, I will glue everything together. Uh, I will reposition the camera so you can clearly see it. And then uh, we've got another uh, fun project uh, finished. So that's it for this week's video. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, I think it turned out really nice. Let me show you up close. Uh, it's really fun to do. There are a lot of small parts, as you can see. They all need to be hand painted, uh, or at least I did like this. Uh, I left them in the cutouts. For me, that's the most easiest uh, way to uh, make sure I don't paint all over the sides. Uh, the longer B1 did a really excellent job. Uh, nice and clean cut. If I take a look at the back, you can see there are some little marks, but it's really minimal. So uh, it went really well. Uh, again, if you like this video, uh, let me know, give it a thumbs up, uh, subscribe to my channel. And also don't forget to hit the bell icon so you will be notified whenever I upload a new video. Normally I do this every week uh, on Sundays 11 o'clock. Uh, so uh, stay tuned for the next one and I hope to see you uh, later. Bye bye.